Okay, welcome to 1.4, page 3, um, where we're shifting, reflecting, and stretching graphs, and talked about pre-functions and post-functions. So I'm going to go through this slowly and then show what we actually do in the event that we're in class, and it, it really actually becomes pretty cool, and people become very, very fast at this. Um, I do save special directions, and that's only because these directions do not match the book's directions. It's not what I'm looking for on here. They actually want us to graph these. They want us to graph plain old x squared, much like what we were doing back here. Start with a function, plain old x squared, and then shift it accordingly based on this minus 10 and this plus 5. Um, all I'm going to have you do is to describe the shifts, and we're going to use we're going to do this in order of operations. So if I choose x, the first thing I do is subtract 10 from the x's, which makes our myvox positive 10. That is a 10-day delay. What normally happens on day 12 now would happen on day 22 if it's a 10-day delay. In other words, to get 12 out of here, I have to put 22 in for x. I have to put 22 into my function just to get credit for putting 12 in. Okay, so that would be right 10, that's our pre-function, affects the x. 10 day delay to the right 10. And then we add 5 to the height. Oh, right 10 up 5. And that's all I'm looking for on here. And you can do the, use the same abbreviations, but don't start with up 5. Always order of operation away from x. So from here, the first thing we'd, we would do is add 2, square it, then multiply by 1 fourth, then multiply by negative 1. I would rather you do that in two steps here, and then subtract 2. So this plus 2 is going to change things. The times 1 fourth is going to change things. The times a negative is going to change things. And the minus 2 order of operations is going to change things. This is pre-function affects the time right left. This is a two-day head start. And don't just say that. Say it's a two-day head start. So what happens on day five now would happen on, well, if it's a two-day head start, that's two to the left. So we are left. Do we want to do it that way, or do we want to do LT? I don't, I don't like that. Let's just go left, two. Then I'm out of my base function. My base function is x squared. Then I'm going to multiply the height by 1 fourth. That makes it 1 fourth as tall. I'm then going to multiply the height. See, I'm out of the base function. The height by negative. So what was up is now down. Upside down. Take that for abbreviation. And then we subtract 2 from the height down 2. So when we do this in, well, I'll wait and talk about when we do this in class, how what goes on here. So now our base function is x cubed, and we probably know x cubed looks like this. It really doesn't even matter that we know what it looks like to be able to, to do this assignment. But how would this affect it? This is a pre-function. We're affecting the time before we're cubing into our parent function. So. That's a one day head start. What normally happens on day five now happens on, if it starts one day sooner, happens on day five. That's actually one to the left, or the myvox is negative one. So we are left one times one half, though. Now we're post function. We're after the cubing. We're after we've made it to this parent function. So that's one half times the y value. So that is half as tall. And that's it. So we see in number 58, we have three things going on with this cubic function. We're going to add 3 to the time, multiply the height by negative 1, and subtract 10 from the height. The most likely mistake are these pre-functions. Oh, it's plus 3 to the x, so we move to the right 3. Nope, that's a 3-day head start. What normally happens on day 7, now would happen on day 4. That's actually 3 to the left. The myvox is negative 3. So we are left. 3, then we're out of our base function. We're out of our parent function after we cube this. 
Then we multiply the height by negative 1. Oh, what was up is now down. What was down is now up. That means the graph is upside down. And we subtract 10 from the height. We're down 10. Now 60, the parent function of this one, is 1 on x. The graph of that actually looks like this. It's not, it's not even important you know that. It is important we understand that 1 on x is our base function. So what did we do? We subtracted 7 from x. Subtracting 7 from x affects the right left. It doesn't move at left 7. It makes the most interesting value of x 7. It's a seven day delay. What normally happens on day four now doesn't happen until day 11. It's seven to the right. So we are right seven. And then we're in our base function. And then we add to the height up four. I think you're familiar with this one. Plain old absolute value of x, the graph of that. looks like this. But it doesn't matter for this as far as the answers we're looking at. To get to here, I have to pre-function subtract 2. Two day delay. What happens on day 6 would not happen until day 8. That's a that's 2 to the right, or the myvox is positive 2. So we're right 2. Then we're base function, parent function. Then we multiply the height post function by 1 half. Oh, that's half as tall, then we subtract 3 from the height, that's down 3. And a good one to end on. The graph of square root of x looks like this. And it doesn't matter for the purpose of this, we just need to know square root of x is our base function. <coughs> Excuse me. So here I have a pre-function, add 1 to the x's. Oh, to the right one? Nope. One day head start. If we have a one day head start, what normally happens on day 6 happens one day sooner. On day 5, that's 1 to the left. Or the myvox is negative 1. 1 to the left. So we are left 1. Then we, are, we reach base function. Everything after that is post function. 3 times the height. So 3 times as tall, multiply then by the negative 1 upside down, because we're multiplying the height by negative, and then subtract 6 from the height down 6. And you can see where I think you can get through these pretty quickly. What we end up doing in class, and it's a lot of fun, hopefully we, hopefully we're, we meet, we're going to do some of this stuff in class, is I just touch and the, just as a chorus, the whole class would just go right, 10, up, 5, left, 2, 1 fourth is tall, upside down, down, 2, left, 1 half is tall, left, 3, upside down, down, 10. Right 7, up 4. Right 2, half as tall, down 3. Left 1, 3 times as tall, upside down, down 6. And we get really, really good at it. And that's all I want you to do on this. So, for instance, if we were looking at number 63, could you do that with me? Maybe not quite as fast, but left 3, half as tall, upside down, down 1 left 5, upside down, up 2, because that's a plus 2. So hopefully you get the picture on that. Um, definitely something we're going to be spending some time on. Uh, this, this page should probably seriously be maximum of about five minutes for you. Let me know what I can help with. Very important concept for us.